Hey there guys, Alton McFall here. It is hot as hell this afternoon. It's Sunday, uh, Sunday, uh, what are we today? August uh, 18th or something like that. And uh, you see the sun is, is so hot and these cars are so distracting. People aren't even noticing walking into the shot because it's the cars, that's how they are. They're so amazing and today the cars are so boring. So nobody gives a shit about today's cars, you know. And these people next to me are laughing because they know I'm right, you know. And uh, they're and lucky. Take, and you take your life in your hands when you drive them. <laughs> yeah, but did you guys think about that back then, really? Nope, nope, you were just really. thinking how many people could fit in there, and you know. I want, I want to go to Lowell. Oh, well, there you go, man. Take care, eh? It's funny to, to see this caddy here. I'll tell you why. Because last night I watched a great movie. Look at this guy. He's texting while he's skateboarding. That's, that, that, that fucking says it all, man. You wanted to just walk right, right into one of these cars. It's funny to see the 66 Cadillac Eldorado. For one thing, the Eldorado is not as common as the other models. The convertible, anyway, specifically like this. 66. And then last night I went to see the new Quentin Tarantino movie called uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And it takes place in 69. And a feature car is a 66 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, which was less expensive than this. And I'm positive it was the same car that was actually used in uh, Quentin Tarantino's... Uh, uh, 1993 movie Reservoir Dogs. Also, another thing that's funny is that I rode in one of these once, exactly like that, except same colors, except it was a Coupe de Ville convertible. Yeah. Wow, how many caddies have I filmed at this show here today? Holy cow! Yeah, you see the Eldorado. The difference is that the the, the Coupe de Ville, this uh, molding, chrome molding, this line here, goes right in the center. On the Eldorado and the Fleetwood, it's like this. And also on the Eldorado and the Fleetwood, there's that crest there on the end like that. Oh my god, it's so goddamn hot. I'm hoping it's gonna rain even. You know? Well, they only said a 30% chance of that happening, so. Woo! Hell of a show today. Oh man, bring on that breeze. It's absolutely fantastic. There you go. There it is, it says it all. El Dorado, baby. Cadillac. 429 V8. Horsepower, probably at least 300. You know? Now what's that there? Mustang. Well, this car's driven there because she's a little bit dirty, eh? She's enjoyed. Yeah, fantastic condition. Now the Eldorado also, I can see here, had all that wood paneling here on the doors versus the, the regular model, the, the DeVille didn't have that. Little, little differences, you know? Look at this, and also the Eldorado had bucket seats. Man, this thing is something else, man. And speaking of white vintage convertibles, look at that. 59 Canadian Meteor Montcalm, and I filmed this car before. See, this is the only thing I hate. Sometimes, you see this sometimes, I, I think it's a shame. It's like, look, you got a car that's completely original, completely factory stock, and you got these fucking shitty wiper, black modern wiper blades. I'm like, look, I know they're a pain in the ass to change. I had a 65 Sabre, but it's still worth it, you know? So that's it, boys and girls. Cadillac. There you go, man. You know, when you're riding one of these, I don't think you could care about a whole lot, man. Because when you ride in a classic American car like that, when they're that big, you feel like a million bucks, you know? You can't really be depressed in them, honestly, you know? That's why they were, man. They'll never make them that amazing again. Really. I keep saying it, but it's true. Canadian Beaumont, now I'm gonna think, I'm gonna film this next year. Bye!